Hi everyone! Today I'm here with my Cozy A Thorn wrap up, which was hosted by Sylvia Kay and which was start which started on the 1st of October and finished on the 15th of October. And I had so much fun doing this readathon. It was the best readathon ever, in all honesty. I love Sylvia Kay and I love all of the challenges that she came up with. It was such a fun experience for me to try and complete all of the challenges and I thought that all of the challenges were really really cozy and it would have been great if I didn't fail. At first I was planning to vlog it but then I decided not to. For some reason I just didn't feel like vlogging and I was just writing down my progress. The books that I was reading and the challenges that I was reading them for but then at some point halfway through or so I stopped doing that so then I'll just tell you what challenges I ended up completing in the very end anyway. So on day one I finished the challenge of reading a book whilst drinking a hot beverage of your choice. I was drinking some tea and reading some of the uh, the spoon of blue thread or something like that. I can't remember. I was reading it as in ebook format and that was for the book club. Plus for no challenges at all I read a little bit of tinder which I got out from the library and already gave it back. On day two I decided to try and complete the challenge of listening to an audiobook whilst exercising but I didn't feel like exercise so I was just cleaning instead for 30 minutes and that is actually kind of an exercise and I was listening to the book called The Magician by Somerset Moyam. Plus I was drinking tea again with the book Again, I keep forgetting the name of it. And after that, I did again that challenge of the hot beverage of my choice. And the book that I was reading for that challenge was Strange the Dream of Eleni Taylor. I obviously only read a little bit on that day. And it was a very, very good experience to read this book, which is, I find, comfortable, cozy. And drinking hot chocolate was just a perfect combination for this book. On day three, I didn't complete any of the challenges, but I read a little bit more from the book club book. Day four, I didn't complete any of the challenges again, but again, I read a little bit more from the blue, <laughs> from the blue spread, and a little bit from the archived by Victoria Schwab, my buddy read with Kelsey from the Hardback Haven. On day five, I did the challenge of drinking tea again with the book tinder. I know I did that challenge most than anything else because I love drinking tea or hot chocolate or coffee when I'm reading because it's just so cozy to do that anyway so I don't really need much of an excuse to try and do that even though I did that challenge about five times or something so no guilt. On day seven I apparently didn't do anything on day six or just forgot to write the progress but on day seven I was listening to relaxing music or rather it was Halloween music but it was kind of relaxing at the same time I was reading tinder and it was such a good experience to be honest it put me in such a right Halloweeny mood and also on that day I did another challenge finally which was to read a book in a bathtub and I was reading again tinder whilst laying in the bath it was so good I really really enjoyed it even though I realized that I can't deal with hot bathtubs at all when it's a very very hot bath I feel horrible my heart starts racing so much and I feel like I'm just about to faint so for next time I know that I shouldn't take too long in a hot bath or just make it warm and not hot. Now I go to day 11 because apparently I forgot to write it down again. The challenge that I completed on that day was the to read a chapter first thing in the morning and that was Harry from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling and it was such a good way to start the day. I really 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 enjoyed it and it just made my day. Maybe I should do it a lot more often now. But after that, I completed another challenge, which was to uh, bake something whilst listening to an audiobook. And for that, I was listening to The Hound of the Baskervilles while baking chocolate chip cookies. They were delicious, to be honest. And the book is great. It is a reread for me, and I was enjoying it as the first time around. After that, I stopped writing down what exactly I was reading and what challenges I was completing, but then I was ticking the challenges when I was completing them. The challenges that I completed in general were read in a bathtub, she read a book whilst wearing fluffy socks and a cozy jumper even though I adapted it to myself because I don't like jumpers to be honest if only they're very 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 soft which I don't have them and I was wearing my lovely dressing gown instead which is really really soft and I absolutely love it so I can't 
pounds. Plus I was wearing my lovely, warm, fluffy slippers. Read while listening to relaxing music. Multiple times I did the challenge, read while drinking a hot beverage of your choice. Read a chapter first thing in the morning. Reread an all time favorite. Listen to an audiobook while baking. Do exercise for half an hour whilst listening to an audiobook, which was cleaning. So now to you the challenges that I didn't complete. I didn't read in a coffee shop. I really wanted to do that, but then I just feel weird when I'm outside just by myself in a place full of people that just makes me uncomfortable so I didn't do that even though I really wanted to. I didn't read an entire book by candlelight. I believe I lit the candles a couple of times whilst I was reading but I didn't complete a whole book by candlelight because I thought it would just be impossible so I didn't even try that. I believe that I didn't read a book purely for es escapism either. I started feeling slumpy at the beginning of the readathon so I was a bit I struggled to concentrate on the books that I was reading so I can't say that I was reading them for escapism because I just wouldn't be able to escape into the book and I was thinking of different things that was happening in my life and yeah so that didn't happen I didn't read a book with the title chocolate in the cover because I simply didn't find it and I didn't have any so I didn't even try to find a book with that title but I think it's quite a good challenge as well and it means probably that the book that people chose for it was really really cozy. I didn't read a book with an autumnal cover unfortunately. That just didn't happen either. Couldn't find anything and the books that I wanted to read were not autumnal. I didn't complete the challenge to treat yourself to a book that you've been craving for a long time because I'm kind of on a book buying ban or rather I have a rule of buying books and I bought five I bought four books before on my birthday so I couldn't really break the rule anymore so I didn't do that and also the other challenge that I didn't complete was to give a book to, to give a comforting book to someone who's going through a rough time because luckily no one in my life was going through a rough time so I didn't even need to complete that challenge. Now as for the books that I finished throughout the cozy -a -thon. I finished the book club book A Spoonful, A Spoon of blue thread. I'm going to speak about all of the books and ratings in my wrap up so I'm not going to go into much detail now. The other book that I finished was The Magician by Somerset Moore even though I started it ages ago I believe in September but I finished it during the cozy thon so I hope that counts. Another book that I finished was Tinder by Sally Gardner and I think that was originally on my cozy -a -thon TBR. And the last book that I managed to read for the cozy -a -thon, I believe I finished it for the cozy -a -thon and not after. That was The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And yeah, those were all of the books that I finished in the cozy -a -thon. I started plenty more, like you could see, I showed it to you before. I started four more or rather two of them I started ages ago, but I continued reading them during cozy -a -thon but didn't finish them. So Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling, the historical guide about Great Britain. I was reading it from time to time, even though it wasn't for any of the challenges, but I was enjoying it and it was really, really cozy to read it. The other one was The Archived by V.E. Schwab. I was reading it very, very little because I'm struggling with this book, to be honest. And the last one that I was reading from time to time would be Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, which is an absolutely lovely book. So yeah. I think I didn't do very bad but I had a huge TBR and I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't get into even half of the books that I mentioned that I was going to do but life happens. That's it for my wrap up. Let me know in the comments if you participated in this cozy thon and what you thought of it. If you really really enjoyed it like I did and I'm hoping that Sylvia K will do the cozy thon at some point as well because I really really liked it and hopefully next time I won't be such a failure. Thank you for watching. Bye.